Hello children. So today in ninth class under the chapter lines and angles, which is your fourth chapter, in exercise four point three we are doing the twelfth one. Draw figures for the following statement. The statement given is if two arms of one angle are respectively perpendicular to the two arms of another angle, then the two angles are either equal or supplementary. So here there are two angles. So let us draw an angle. Suppose let this be the angle. So I am taking this as A. This has some point B. This has some point C. Okay, this is one angle. So this is the first arm. Suppose this is AC is the arm and AB is the arm. This is AC is the first arm. AB is the second arm. Then I am drawing one more angle. I am drawing the angle like this. Okay. So that is. I am taking this as some D and this as E. So here, what are the two angles? So here the two angles are angle CAB and angle DAE. These are the two angles which I am drawing. Now, given that two arms of one angle are respectively perpendicular to the two arms of the other angle. So here this is the first arm of the first angle. And this is the first arm of the second angle. So here the two arms are perpendicular. That is 90 degrees. It is given. And also the second arm AB is perpendicular to AE. Okay. So that is these two are 90 degrees. This is given. Then we have to show that the angle that is CAB and angle DAE. Both are either equal or they are supplementary. That is they are 180 degrees. Okay, so if you draw this figure, then let CAB and DAE, CAB and DAE be the two angles. Okay, so what is given? And AC is perpendicular to AD. The first arm of the first angle is perpendicular to the first arm of the first uh, second angle. Okay. And AB is perpendicular to AE. This is given. Okay. Now, what you can write? CAD is equal to CAD. Angle CAD is equal to, you can write it as CAB plus BAD. CAB plus BAD. Okay. This angle and this angle is equal to the big angle. And we know that CAD is equal to 90 degrees. Mark this as equation 1. And also, if you take this BAE, BAE or EAB, both mean same only. Here the angle in the middle, that is A is important. Okay. So here, BAE. This is equal to, what is BAE? This is equal to BAD plus DAE. That is BAE is equal to BAD plus DAE. And these two is equal to 90 degrees according to this condition. Okay, now because these two are 90 degrees, I can equate CAB plus BAD is equal to BAD plus DAE. So I can write, Angle CAB plus angle BAD is equal to angle BAD plus angle DAE. Okay. So now here, if you observe, this is BAD, BAD. So I can cancel this. Here what will be left out? CAB is equal to here DAE. Because BAD, BAD both are equal so I can cancel this. So I, I will get CAB is equal to angle DAE. What is CAB? This angle. CAB is equal to DAE. These are the two angles which we have taken. We have to show that then the two angles are either equal. Which means we have shown that they are equal. Okay. So this is the first condition. This is satisfied. The angles are equal. The angles are equal. Okay. Now I am going to erase it. 
Now we will show that are either equal or supplementary. Supplementary means 180 degrees. So this is the solution. Here starts your solution. I am going to erase this. I am doing the second part now. So here the second part is. So now I am taking angle like this. This is one angle, the first angle. Suppose this is A. This is B and this is C and I am taking the other angle that is like this. Like this I am taking. Okay. This is the other angle. That is here the angles I am taking as CAB is one angle I am taking and B I will take this as D. B, D, C as another angle. B the angles. If I take C, A, B and C, D, A. Two different angles. If I take this as the first arm of the first one. This as the second arm of the first one. And if I take this as the first arm of the first one. This as the second arm. You can take anything as. Uh, you can take this one as first. This one as second. Or this one as first. And this one as second. Anything you can take. Okay. So by the condition. If I take this as one arm. And this as the other arm. Here the angle is 180. Between one arm of one angle. And the one arm of the other angle. And also here. This is the second arm. And this is the first arm. So the angle here is 90 degrees. Okay, so you can take this arms 1, 2 anyway, but it, you have to take it such a way that one arm of one angle and one arm of the second angle are such that they are perpendicular, they are 90 degrees. Okay, now be the angles. Now what you can see, you can see that A, B, A, B, D, C is a quadrilateral. Okay, is a quadrilateral. Now, angle C plus angle B is equal to how much? Angle C plus angle B is equal to 90 plus 90. That is 180 degrees. But, but in a quadrilateral, the sum of all the angles is 180 degrees. Okay. So, which implies you can write angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degrees. Why? Since in quadrilateral, in quadrilateral, sum of angles is, sum of angles is 360 degrees. So, already 180 is finished. From 360, if I remove 180, I will get 180. 180 plus 180 is 360. Which means the angle formed here plus the angle formed here. The sum of these two is 180. Okay. So, now what is this? We are taking the two angles as CA. B, one angle and the other angle is B, D, C. So, what do you observe? That is, they are supplementary. Here, what he is asking us to show, then the two angles are either equal. First case, we have shown that they are equal uh, or supplementary, which means the angles are supplementary. Therefore, the angles are supplementary. So, this is about the Try the problem in exercise 4.3. Like, subscribe and share my channel.